Hello viewers, welcome back to this video lecture series on computer networks, mainly on the topics from network layer. Today's topic of discussion is on DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. This protocol is a very important protocol. It plays a very important role in networking. So let us see its functionality. Now to start with the introduction for DHCP, I'll just give you one simple uh, uh, situation wherein, see normally suppose there is one uh, gathering happening, okay. These people are consist of few members who are meeting regularly on a weekend. So these members know each other every weekend they meet and they talk to each other. But incidentally what has happened is a new member also joined the gathering. So the new member is not aware of what the other members that are present already in that particular what do you say gathering or club. So the head of the club will try to make this new member get familiarized with the other members also and to familiarize with the other members the new member should know the names of all the members isn't it should know the name of the member that is who is heading that club. So that way whenever a new member joins that group that new member should be given complete information about that group only then it becomes quite comfortable to communicate with the rest of the members in the group. Similar is the situation here there is a network existing already fine and there are certain number of hosts present in the network a new device or new host is added to the network. When the host gets added to the network, the host cannot communicate with the any other network also because it does not know the IP addresses of the other host nor it knows the IP address for itself. That means the to communicate in networking the host requires an IP address that is source host is also a must. So what it does is it, it sends a message to the one what the server in that particular network. So every network is having server. So server is the one which is going to provide the complete information whenever a new host enter any net network. So that server which is providing the information is DHCP. Which pro it, it, that server that means that it is making use of the protocol DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. So look at this term dynamic host configuration protocol. Di host is getting conf configured with what? with the new IP address and the other informations uh, that are required to communicate is also getting included or is also given to the host. Dynamically the IP addresses are assigned to the host. Suppose the host joins the network, get an IP address, leaves the network, join again, then it gets a new IP address. So we say it, it is dynamically the addresses are being assigned by this protocol, by this server. So one but how does this protocol works? It works in the form of what four messages have to get exchanged between the host and the server. Now let us assume that this is the host that needs an IP address. It wants to get the information from the server, okay, DHCP server. So the first thing what the host does is because it has entered the network, it is a new host in that network, it will try to discover. So that is why the name is given as the discover message. So it sends a message to the, to the network. To the network in a sense here, it, when it sends a message in the network, the source address because this new host does not know the IP address, its own IP address, it is not still not assigned by the server. So what it will do is. Hope you people remember this is one of the special addresses 0.0.0.0 slash 32. So it will write for source address as this one and the destination address because it does not even know what the server IP address. So it will just write the broadcast address 255.255.255.255. It is sending a what? It is sending a discover message wherein it is writing its own address as 0.0.0, .0 that is this host address. It does not know its IP address. And it also it doesn't know whom to communicate hence it is sending a broadcast message. So that all the servers that are surrounding that are that are there in the network will receive this message discover message. The, the server which is interested to reply back to this host will send the offer message. 
will send what the offer message in the offer message the server will give the ip address for the source let us take for example the server has given 192.68.2.3 and it will write its destination address that means the server address this becomes now the destination because it is sending to the host and its source address or you can say here instead of destination it wants to send this message to the client which is requesting so this this type of model this is a client server model always a host is taking services from the server whereas we have another model called as peer to peer model wherein suppose if i am communicating with you then it becomes peer to peer it is a normal communication i am sending a message you are replying to message i am not taking any services from you nor you are taking any services from me whereas here this per client wants services from the server that's why the model is called as the client server model the server will write the client address yes i will assign you with this address 192 dot and server will write its ip address also like let us take Sir, server is sending its address 200.6.8 and what it will do is it will once again write the destination address as the broadcast address only it's writing the destination as broadcast that means whichever are the surrounding servers everyone should receive this offer message because it is like conveying to the other servers i am giving an offer to this client if you have a better offer you can also respond to this client the client when it gets the offer message from the server will reply with what will reply with the request message to confirm to confirm what whatever ip address is there is given to the client okay it is taking it is accepting so it will write now in this third message the source address as 192.168.2.3 and the server address will be there 200.6. fine server address is what 200.6.8.1 but destination address is 255 once again the host is sending a broadcast message again it wants to convey to the other servers that it has got an offer from this particular server 200.6.8.8 so it is just a conveying message to the other servers then the final acknowledgement will come from the server so we call it as an acknowledgement message wherein now the server is giving what the source address fine the destination that is the client address client address then the server address and the destination address destination address in the acknowledgement packet will also be again broadcast address fine 255.255 client address it is writing as 192 dot 168 dot 2 dot 3 server address is how much 200 dot 6 dot 8 dot 1 so with this it is sending the message to the cl not client it is like broadcast address so client will receive as well as the other servers that are there will also receive this message so here the server is trying to convey that it has acknowledged now to the client that this particular ip address is given by this dhcp server and it is confirmed so this way four messages have to get exchanged between the client and the server to carry out this and the server will assign as i said there will be other components that will be given to the new host one is the ip address subnet mask is a must so that it will give a clear indication how many hosts are present in the network and for that network which communicates with other networks the gateway gateway ip address that is the routers default router ip address will also be assigned or given then domain name server ip address will domain name the ip address of the domain name server is uh, will also be there this you can always check whichever device you are using whether it is your laptop or mobile just go open and check in the network part what is the ip address assigned to you there you will come to know see uh, normally what uh, this the router which you are having at home for wi-fi connection is a best example for dhcp server if you look at the ip address the ip address of that router is suppose if it is 192.168.6.1 and the number of devices that are there in your house each of them will get uh, the ip addresses uh, in the same series 
if that uh, router's IP address is 1.1, then the next devices will be in uh, will be what 1.1, 1, 1 sorry 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 like this. How, totally, how many devices you are having in the house for each of these devices, you will get an IP address. It is it is like what you see somebody some relative some guest some friend come to your house they want to make use of your wi-fi connection as soon as they connect to your wi-fi they are able to communicate with the internet this protocol is dynamically assigning all the ip addresses the other way is manually assigning the ip addresses also see as long as you have a very small network with very less number of host in the network then you can assign a person system administrator who manually assigns the ip addresses to all the machines in the internet to in the network but if you have thousands of ip uh, machines then assigning manually becomes a very tough job that's the reason the dhcp server plays this role it assigns the ip addresses automatically to all the machines you can check in your machine in your device whether the ip address that is assigned to you is manually or um, by dhcp very clearly it will be mentioned like for example suppose if i'm working in my office when i opened my laptop i saw that uh, ip address assignment there it was written manually but the same thing when i tried using uh, in my in my phone when i checked it was what it is showing dhcp because these ip addresses are huge in numbers in the office it was a very small network hence it is uh, the care is taken that manually the ip addresses can be assigned so hope you people have and also yes definitely in your device in your phone in your laptop you can check these four components very clearly it will be given to you the ip address of your device will be given the subnet mask will be given see for example you can check 192 dot suppose if you got an ip address like this then subnet mask will be given for example if it is a class c address fine it will be then ip address of this what the router's ip address will be given the de default and the IP address of the domain name server. Domain name server is also very much essential because whenever you are trying to search a particular uh, information in any website, you are writing the domain name, not the IP address. So the domain name server always maps what the given IP address to the, uh, sorry, the given domain name to the IP address. So the IP address of the domain name server will also be given. Sometimes it will be one uh, domain name server sometimes you can see there are two ip addresses that are mentioned under this domain name server so hope you have understood the concept of dhcp thank you take care bye, -bye.